Welcome to GoVM Lab, India's first job-ready VMware learning platform where professionals meet experts to revolutionize their VMware careers. Hello everyone, welcome to GoVM Lab, VMware vSphere Distributed Switch Advanced Networking Lecture Series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about rollback and recovery feature of vSphere Distributed Switch. I'm sure as a vSphere admin, you might have come across scenarios where your ESXi host loses connection to vCenter server due to misconfiguration at the management network level. Now, what could be those misconfiguration? For example, maybe configuring some unsupported VLAN ID which is not available in your physical infrastructure, maybe assigning some misconfiguration IP level configuration to your management VM kernel network adapter, maybe some assigning wrong MTU to your management network VM kernel adapter and the physical switch doesn't support that MTU size and so on so forth. Because of all these kind of network misconfigurations, our host might lose connectivity to our vCenter server and which becomes a very bigger issue in our production environment. And that's where exactly this networking rollback and recovery feature help us to prevent our host from losing connection to vCenter server as a result from misconfiguration of the management network. So this networking rollback and recovery feature is enabled by default. So we don't need to go and enable that feature and that's really important for this kind of feature to be enabled by default so that if any admin do this kind of misconfigurations, our host will never ever lose the connectivity to our vCenter server because those configurations will never be applied. And this feature will be restricting those misconfigurations to be applied. So now let's log into our infrastructure and let's try to see that how this networking rollback feature works and how it detects misconfigurations done by uh, network admin and how it protects our host from losing connection. As you could see that we are logged into our vCenter server named as savcsa01.govmlab.local. Now let's go and browse our vCenter server. So within that vCenter server, we do see a data center created named as SA data center. Let's go and browse our data center. Within that data center, we do see a cluster created named as SA cluster. Let's go and browse our cluster and we do see that there are three ESXi hosts which are part of this cluster and we do have bunch of VMs which are running on that cluster. Now before we go and demonstrate you rollback and recovery capability of vSphere distributed switch, let's have a quick review of our vSphere networking configuration. So click on networking icon, click here to browse, click here to browse our data center and as you do see that we do have Two distributed switch created in this environment. The very first switch is created named as VDS site A and the other one is VDS site B. Now let's go and browse our VDS site A switch and we do see that there are two port groups created on our VDS site A switch. The very first port group is created named as DVPG VM network which is for our virtual machine traffic and the other one is well defined DB uplink port group. Similarly, let's go and browse our VDS site B and we do see that there are two port groups created on our VDS site B switch. The first one is DVPG management and the second one is DVPG production. The third one is well-defined DV uplink port group as you do see that. Now click on our VDS site B, click on host and we do see that there is only one host which is connected to our VDS site B switch. Click on VMs and as you could see that there are no VMs currently connected to this distributed switch and on the networking as we have discussed there are two distributed port group created on our switch and there is a one well-defined uplink port group which is created on our distributed switch. Now click on ports and this port section will give us a complete information about our distributed switch ports and what all the entities which are being consuming the ports of our distributed switch. Now as you could see that as of now there is only one port which is actually being consumed of our distributed switch. So we'll go and have a look at that port. So click on that port and look at that. You do see that this particular port number 8 is consumed by VMK0 adapter of SA ESXi03 host. And if you if you remember the VMK0 adapter is our management network adapter. Management network connectivity is actually being managed by our VMK0 adapter. So that's a port number eight. Now let's look at the other ports, DV uplink ports. And we do see that 
there is a one port named as port 17 and that particular port 17 of our distributed switch is actually consumed by VM NIC 0 uplink adapter. So now let's click on our DVPG management. This is the port what we are interested into because if you remember what we have discussed that rollback feature help us to prevent our ESXi host losing connectivity to our vCenter server in event of misconfiguration of management network. So now if you know now if you do see that VMK0 adapter is used for our management network connectivity. Let me quickly show you that. So click on host and clusters, click on ESXi03, click on configure, click on VM kernel adapters and look at that. When you click on this VMK0, that's the IP. What do we see that? 172.20.10.53 and that is the management IP of our SAESXi03 host. So now we have discussed that if we do any kind of misconfiguration, for example, maybe misconfiguring this VM kernel NIC IP or maybe changing the VLAN or MTU configurations, that's where our ESXi host might lose connectivity to our vCenter server. So now let's try to introduce those failures and let's see that how rollback really protect our host in those kind of events. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to continue watch this lecture, then join our exclusive YouTube membership program only at the price of 299 rupees INR per month and unlock your VMware potential with GoVM Lab. With this membership program, you can unlock all of our members only content published on our YouTube channel. You can watch out the videos presented on your screen to know the benefits of GoVM Lab subscription as well as the membership program. Thank you.